This video is going to show you how to adjust and tighten drums using Beat Detective in Pro Tools. So in front of us we just have a basic drum recording. It's recorded against a click but it does drift around a little bit. It's fairly tight but you can hear that at certain points some beats are a bit early, some are a bit late. So let's have a listen to it, uncorrected. Okay, so you get the idea, you can hear it's pretty tight, but it does drift a little bit. So what Beat Detective actually does is it will allow you to mark out or identify where all the beats are in this selection. It then allows you to slice it up into little clips and then move it back onto the grid and heal over any gaps. So step one is to select the part of the audio that you want to work on. It's often good when you're using Beat Detective on long drum takes to just do it a section at a time. So we're just going to choose an eight bar section. It starts at beat two because there is a one bar count in. So it'll go from bar two through to bar 10. So let's just make a selection. Okay, so notice that I've got the drum group on, so when I select one track, it selects them all. You can see here, even when I'm selecting the end of this piece of audio, that that kick is a little bit early on the first beat of bar 10. So I've now just selected an eight bar section from two to 10. Okay, so let's just work on this eight bar section. So to access Beat Detective, we go to the event menu and we select beat detective from that that will open up a new window and this is where we control the beat detective tool first things first let's have a look in the middle we can see selection it's selected from bar 2 to bar 10 that's correct it's an 8 bar selection yes it is in 4-4 and this last one contains this really tells beat detective what the finest gradation of beat is in relation to the timeline so if you can zoom in here you can see that I've set the Pro Tools grid to 16th notes so we can see it behind the audio clips because there are some fills and a few things that are going on later which do use 16th notes within them. Notice that the player also has some ghost notes and things happening in between the beats so this is a really great example of how well you can correct drum takes even though there's quite complex things going on like ghost notes. So the selection is good. We need to select clip separation which is our first step and we look across to the right hand side here we have detection being normal i find with drums high emphasis is pretty good as a detection algorithm when you go analyze and that's just going to look through the audio and find beats now the next fader here sensitivity allows you to mark out the beats it's basically going down to softer and softer volumes or lower levels uh, and finding beats. But you can see there that we've got little shuffles and little hi-hat things that looks like it's good in terms of defining where all the relevant events might be in that beat. And so once we've marked that out and we've got the fader where we want it to be, somewhere in there, then we can go separate. And then what that does is it creates individual clips out of all of those slices of audio where the beats are. After that, we want to then take all of these slices or clips and we want to conform them or quantize them. So the next button here, Clip Conform, allows us to do just that. And we need to go Conform and it moves all of these clips onto the grid. Well, you can see here that it leaves some gaps which would cause glitches. That's to be expected because we're moving clips around. So let's have a listen to the quantized slices. Okay, so to fix up all those glitches and close down those gaps, we go to Edit Smoothing 
and on the right hand side it says fill gaps or fill and crossfade i would recommend you use fill and crossfade and leave the crossfade length to five milliseconds so it would just time stretch and plug all the gaps as it needs to and then put little crossfades in to repair any glitches so you can see that it's done that it's closed the gaps and it's put little crossfades in all right so let's have a listen to the results Okay, so that's super tight now. And if you want to now finish working on that section, I would recommend that you consolidate those clips. So you go to the edit menu and you choose consolidate clip. And then what that will do is it will just stitch all those clips together so that they are now one continuous clip per drum channel. And we'll listen to it one more time just so we can check it. So you can hear how tight that is now. That is right on the grid. When you're in the conform part of the Beat Detective tool, you can actually change the amount of quantization so it doesn't pull it fully onto the grid. But for the purposes of this demonstration, I've pulled it completely onto the grid so you can see exactly what it's doing. So if we zoom in now and we look at everything, you can see that it's parked right on that grid. All drum beats are completely on the grid. So that's how you use Beat Detective.